if this is an infinite creation, if we're living, breathing as part of an infinity, right? Would most of you agree? I mean, yes. maybe you don't, but yes. let's call it the infinite universe, infinite creation, God. In infinity, where there's infinite possibilities, infinite possibilities, that's implied. If you have infinity, it is implied that part of that infinity is possibilities, and then those possibilities must be infinite. So in an infinite universe of possibilities, what's the only thing that could not be? That cannot exist. The absolute? Nope. Alive? Infinity. I'm not just quite. Guessing. Not quite. There's nothing that cannot exist. Exactly. <laughs> There cannot be any lack. Yes. The only thing that can never exist in infinite possibility is lack. And that's why if we see our emotions as guidance, again, very briefly, when we're bumping up against the way the universe actually works, we feel bad. Why does it feel bad to believe all these negative things about yourself? Because they're all rooted in the only thing that cannot exist, which is God's way of letting you know you're, you're singing out of tune. This is what you're believing right now is going against everything that is, everything that's possible. So every time that you're vibrating in, in the belief of lack, in the domain of lack, you're actually buying into the only thing out of all of infinite possibilities you can never exist. And you, pick, you had to pick the one thing that infinity could not comprehend and create an entire life out of that, trying to prove that right or wrong. That's why it feels bad to believe that. 